We have uh, about 1,500 speakers that are going to surround the spacecraft. As you can see, and, after uh, re-entry. Uses uh, about a megawatt of energy yeah, to uh, create the sound. And what we're trying to simulate um, is that acoustic environment the spacecraft will experience once it's uh, stacked upon and launched on the new Space Launch System rocket, which is going to be the largest rocket developed by America since uh, Saturn V. What we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, make sure we subject the vehicle to the same vibration that it would experience in uh, going during launch. There's thousands and thousands of parts on the Orion spacecraft. So uh, this vibration test allows us to make sure that, you know, everything's intact and we don't see any indicators that we may have any structural issues, uh, brackets, secondary structure, avionics performs as expected during that environment. One thing that's unique about Orion is that it is built at Kennedy Space Center. They don't have the test facilities uh, like an acoustic ch test chamber that we have here in Denver. To set up speakers around the outside of the spacecraft and run the test in the location it's already at will save us a lot of money in not having to relocate the spacecraft and all of the infrastructure needed to test it.